They say you can tell a lot about a person from their mustache, but can you tell who a person is from only their mustache? Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Today we're gonna look at a zoomed in picture of a mustache and guess who owns that mustache. <laughs> I obviously have a huge advantage in this one. Why? Because I have a mustache and I know a good one when I see one. I have a mustache too, it's just not on my face. All right, first one. Mustache time. Well. <sighs> Pretty obvious. I feel like this is gonna be a very easy game. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna start off soft and then it's gonna devolve into madness. Right, this is an iconic mustache though. This almost feels thin. I feel like it's so much thicker now. You think this is from a different era? Oh yeah, I think this is early on. Oh really? Yeah. So you think his mustache is filled in? Three, two, one. Dr. Phil. Doc Phil. It is Dr. Phil. Oh yeah. Let's see. Okay. And boom. <sighs> I think that's pretty recent. I can't tell with him. He's always looked the same, I guess. <laughs> this one looks CGI, actually. Yeah, this looks like a cartoon version. Might of be him. a painting of him. <laughs> this is how you're gonna live your life. Start taking responsibility <laughs> for your actions. <laughs> All right, next. That looks like paint. Yeah, close up. This is <laughs> such an unnerving image. <laughs> Makes me a bit uneasy. I feel like we shouldn't be showing this on YouTube. No. <laughs> Three, two, one. Steve. Cleveland's own Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Uh, yep. <laughs> Steve Harvey. All right, here we go. Okay. And boom. Wow. Love that picture of him. He is handsome. You know what? He's no nonsense either. He would look really good with one earring. Like a little hoop. Or like a, a puka shell necklace and fingerless <laughs> yeah. gloves. I want also a sweatsuit involved in this somehow. Yeah. Next. Now that's nice. <laughs> that looks like an old broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> that they made out of like horse hair. <laughs> this is like the same stuff they make paintbrushes out of. It's like pig thistles or something. <laughs> this is a last minute Halloween costume. <laughs> I love it. I have three guesses for this one. I'm, really? just, I'm gonna guess one, but like, you know. Oh, this one's obvious. I mean, it is obvious, but then I'm just, there's there's two other people that it could be, <laughs> okay. and I feel like it makes, uh, it's good. Three, two, one. Albert Einstein? That's what I put. It is Albert Einstein. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought it could be Doc from Back to the Future, and then I thought it could be Grandpa Joe from the Willy Wonka. Oh yeah. The bedridden guy, he's got bed sores. Does he even have a mustache? I think he does. I think Grandpa so. Grandpa Joe, I think he has a mustache. A white mustache is something. You think yours will ever fade like that? Well, yeah, I probably won't live long enough, but if I do, if I do see the day, I feel like, yeah, it'll probably turn gray and probably I'll embrace next. that. Unless I go for a full non-mustache look at some point. Yeah, you, you know? like a smooth boy in your old life. Yeah, like a smooth, I'll maybe I'll like lather up my whole, th like I'll have, be a greasy guy. I'll be like a greasy bald guy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I could rock a greasy Greasy bald look. I don't know what the future holds. I'll so. be a slithery snake or a <laughs> nasty rodent. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's in vogue then, but as of right now, I don't like the imagery. I could be like a Joe Rogan in a sweat lodge type character. Ugh. Let's see it in action. Yeah. Beautiful. When was he last alive? I want to say like 53. No way. It has yeah. to be later than that, right? Does it? When did Albert, when did old Al kick the bucket? It was pre-55. I'll go with that. I'm going to go 59 on it. April 18th, 1955. On the money. Thank you. Yeah, good for you. Next. What is that? Yeah, I, I see what you mean. I it looks like a mean. hole in the ground. Or like if they were like, this is the first image of the dark side of Mars. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, shoot. I mean, it definitely, there are confusing shapes here, but yeah. I figured it out pretty quickly. I did too. But you can hear the noise coming out of there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like a... <laughs> There's wind whistling out of that tunnel. <laughs> Talk about a character you love, but a problematic guy behind the scenes. Three, two, one. I'm with HH, brother. Hulk Hogan, Brooke Hogan's father. It is Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. unmistakable. Yeah. I mean, this is one of the most famous mustaches of all time. Are we going to miss? We're four for four right now. I think Grant's softening us up, and then I think it's going to get hard. No, nothing to say about that. Uh, nothing to say about the wording there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Grant's gonna, like, it's fluffed right now, but it's eventually going to get hard. Yep. Sure. Yeah, nothing to say. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, gosh, wow. Well, we were just saying this the other day. He kind of looks like one of those dogs without fur. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, this looks like a French bulldog that survived a chemical spill. The four for four, Wendy kind of ate with that. She kind of ate with that. <laughs> yeah. so slay queen Wendy. Sorry, I was looking right through you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, see, this is vague. Oh, I know it. Really? Yeah, easily. Where are the lips? Little razor lips on this little Old sucker. Razor lips, yeah. <laughs> well, you know white folks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they have, don't have, they don't have lips, right? Really. I, I do know white folks. <laughs> These suckers are dry and crispy too. <laughs> oh yeah, he need chapstick. <laughs> I'm gonna be disappointed, aren't I? Yeah. Because I know this person. Of course. Of course. Is it a part-time mustache or full-time mustache? <laughs> no comment. No comment. <laughs> 
<laughs> you threw two interceptions in the third. Can you explain how that happened? No comment. Okay. Three, two, one. Leonardo DiCaprio. Ryan Gosling. This is Brad Pitt. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, I really thought I was getting... Like Doesn't it look like Leo? Brad Pitt and Leo have a certain similarity. Sexy. Well, yeah. Sexy old white guys. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah. See, now I see he's doing a lip curl thing. He's kind of... <laughs> that, his mustache is very small on his face. I see why he didn't go all the way mustache all the time. He can do whatever he wants. He's I mean, kind he's of a, a very good looking guy. I'm just saying like, you know. A chameleon of style. I had a thought earlier today. Mm -hmm. I thought of a new motto for the state of Mississippi. Okay. You can count on us. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You know what I mean? That's not bad. I feel like that would be nice. It's pretty good. Next. Okay, well. Dr. You know Phil what, again? actually, wait a minute. <laughs> There's more than one possible answer here. You just have to go kind of like really think about character design. Yeah, I don't like it. You don't like this? I feel like you shouldn't, it was never meant to be seen this up close. I guess I kind of don't like the weird dips they've got going. Like, like, That's what I mean. In a mustache design, I'm thinking about it now and I'm like, whose mustache do they base this off of? Like who has a mustache? Mustache that does this. I didn't need like the shapes that make it exposed. You know? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mario? That's what I put. It is Mario. Okay. Could have been Luigi, but I think he has a different mustache. Oh yeah, it's just like two crescents. That's better. A two crescent mustache is much better than this, whatever this is. There he is. Chris Pratt. <laughs> Can't believe that's Chris Pratt. What a body transformation. Very Christian Bale-esque. What are we talking about? I'm Chris <laughs> Pratt, huh? My bozo brother, Luigi. <laughs> I've always been Italian, even in the Jurassic <laughs> Park movies. You don't believe I'm Italian? No, I don't. Pizza, spaghetti. No, those are just, this is tired, Chris. I should have just had Tony Soprano play Mario. It would have been awesome if we got like an old, cigar-stained old Italian man, like gravelly voice. Yeah, give us Pacino. Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk about something. You're doing a Brando from The Godfather. I don't know any what I do with them. I haven't seen those movies, so I just know like one of those voices. That was pretty good. We gotta talk about Princess Peach. You disrespected me. Yeah, I like Mario being like a absolute mafia boss. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to my comrade Yoshi. He's a dinosaur with a bubble face. <laughs> And honestly, if Peach and Daisy were like loud Italian women. Oh yeah. That would be so <laughs> sick. Yeah. Get over here, Mario. <laughs> Mario, you're such a pig. <laughs> Call your mother for once, you lazy bum. All right, next. Ew. Oh. <laughs> You know what? This one is, this one I'm not sure about. I feel like I can tell from the angle and the lighting that it's a musician. You know what I mean? <laughs> Only a musician's posing like this. <laughs> the person that I immediately thought of, I feel like wouldn't be on this list. Like wouldn't be somebody that you just pull for a mustache list. Three, two, one. I put Toro y Moi. I put Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> this is Bruno Mars. Mm, I thought Bruno. <laughs> this is Bruno Mars? Yep, it crossed my mind. Look at his little wow. ass. Wow. <laughs> That blew my mind. I was nowhere near that. <laughs> this is Bruno Mars at like 11 a.m. at an after party from the night prior. Oh, totally. He's in the corner and he's like, let me tell you about something. <laughs> if he wasn't wearing those glasses, his publicist was not going to let him take that picture. No. Because his eyes are messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Demon time Bruno. I guess I don't really know what Bruno Mars' lips look like that much. That's true. I'm always looking at his hips. Yep, exactly. <laughs> It's like that move. Like Great that. little snappy hips on him. I rewatched his Super Bowl performance, not like his, but the one that he did with Coldplay and Beyonce, uh -huh. where they did Uptown Funk. What a moment that was. So weird. Yeah. Feels very calling my famous friends to make it the best show. They're pawns of the music industry, for sure. Coldplay. Mm. But he's in the background like, Uptown Funk, you up. And I'm just like, well, I don't know, man. I don't Chill know about out, that. Chris. <laughs> Chris, come on. He's dressed like a sleepy elf nowadays. Yeah. Like He looks like a cartoon sleepy elf. He's got a hat that's too big for him, a shirt with like cutouts of moons and suns and clouds all yeah. over it. It's like a kid made it. It's like the old guy who's just always in pajamas who lives on the top of the hill and his name's like Dusseltin. <laughs> old Mr. Dusseltin. <laughs> drinks NyQuil out of a thermos. His music is garbage now too, yeah. so. All right, next one. This person was way too sweaty when they took this picture. It's a weird three piece too. Strong divide down the middle and then the, the sole patch to boot. It makes a beautiful shape. It's a lot of symmetry going on. I love this. I like it, I don't love it. Three, two, one. Eddie Murphy. That's what I put. It is Eddie Murphy. Let's go! Yeah, AKA Donkey from Shrek. The Donkey Doolittle. <laughs> donkey Doolittle. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Dude, imagine like being close friends with Eddie Murphy. He walks into a party and you're like, you're like, well, if it ain't Donkey Doolittle, 
<laughs> he like looks at you and he's like, ah, shut up. My girl likes to party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. Crazy. See, there's one earring. Oh, yeah. See, I like that. Single. Steve RV could take some notes from Eddie Murphy. Ew. What the? Oh, my gosh. Ugh. I, it's, I don't like the kissy. The kissy mouth looks like a butthole, and I don't want to be the one to say it, but right. someone had to say it. Trying to get a dog's attention or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Three, two, one. I guessed myself. I guess Carlos Santana. This is Freddie Mercury. Oh, oh okay, oh. cool. <laughs> yeah, it like looks like a, I mean, <laughs> if I was like a really bad mustache day and Tony like fried the picture <laughs> to make it look gross, it could be me. And people have compared my mustache to Freddie Mercury's yeah. quite a bit. So I guess it makes sense. But it's just like I was thinking about it. And I was like, that's something Tony would do. <laughs> All right. Whoa, tiny. And boom. Oh, famous. Freddie Mercury. Rest in peace. Did we just do Eddie Murphy into Freddie Mercury? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Oh, what the heck? See, here's where I'm I'm lost. I don't know who this is. We got a set of chubby cheeks here, I think. We got a set of chubby cheeks? You think so? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I feel like when you stare this long at a zoomed in picture of somebody's mouth, you just kind of like, it's like reading a word a bunch of times and you're like, is that really spelled that way? It starts to not even look like a person. <laughs> <laughs> Start to lose yourself in it. Yeah. Three, two, one. I put The Undertaker. I put Leonardo DiCaprio for this one. This is Pedro Pascal. Uh, uh, rising star, Pedro yeah. Pascal. You know, I thought about that. See, I did not. I'm not. He's not. I've been watching mind. the show. What show? Last of Us. Oh, he's in Last of Us. Yeah. Famously, him and his co-star right now, who's playing like a 14 year old in the show. At the same age difference as Leonardo DiCaprio and his, and his new his girlfriend. current girlfriend. Yeah, totally. I didn't realize that was Pedro Pascal. I don't know enough. I just saw that he was like on Hot Ones or something. Yeah, he's in Last of Us. He's doing a good job. Maybe I'll watch. We'll see what happens, but... 6.6 .6 out of 10 for me. 6.6 .6 out of 10? That's where it's sitting right now. You have a tough grading scale, though, because like that means you kind of like love it almost. Yeah, yeah, almost. I mean, over a 7 is like, that's that's a fire show. See, that's crazy to me. Well, you have to leave room for greatness. Like, Too Hot to Handle is like an 8 out of 10 for me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. And a 9 out of 10 is like that 70s show. Yeah. And then like a 10 out of 10 is like Ink Lost Master. and Ink Master. Yeah. Ink Master and Lost are 10s. <laughs> My scales is way different, man. Seinfeld, Sopranos, and The West Wing. Those are t confident shows that I could say are 10s. Always Sunny's a 9. Yeah, Always Sunny's a 9 for me as well. <laughs> What a tiny little, that's not a mustache. That's drawn on. That looks like a surgical scar. <laughs> when people say pencil mustache, like pencil thin mustache, is that literally like the idea of drawing on with a pencil or is it that a pencil itself is thin? Uh, so I feel like it's that it's drawn. It looks drawn up. Yeah, it looks like the writing. Because like pencil. this is not. No. That's not really a mustache vibe. You no. know. Three, two, one. I put Sinbad. I put Smokey Robinson. This is John Waters. Uh, oh, I don't know who that is. John Waters. <laughs> you'll you'll recognize him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the, the lighting really messed us up. I put Sinbad and you put Smokey Robinson and it's this guy. Yeah. That's a fake mustache though. Well, the whole bottom half of his face looks fake. I can't believe his name is Toilet Water, basically. John Waters. <laughs> I'm drinking a little John Water. <laughs> and my dog got into the John Water. <laughs> That'd be like a signature cocktail at like a non-pretentious dive bar or oh, something. Yeah. You ever have a shitty pencil? And you're like, ah, oh, number two pencil. All right, well, yeah, this one's pretty obvious. Oh, yeah, I got it too. God, it's greasy, but those lips, Ew. what a good shape to them. <laughs> no. I like the shape of those lips. This looks like a dumpster dog. Very kissable. <laughs> I don't like this guy. That's what I will say. Really? Not a fan. Three, two, one. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. It is Johnny Depp. Ding dong. Seven to seven. All right, and here we go. So, so handsome. Ugh. So much good hair over the years. Just looks like a freak. Yeah. His mouth does look like it was scaled down on his face. Like his mouth should be bigger <laughs> than it is on his face. Yeah, he's weird. Next. All right, we're back in character design territory. See. Well, actually, I don't want to give anything away. It could be a real picture. <laughs> <laughs> could be Sam Elliott. <laughs> this is where you pull ahead, buddy. You don't know this. Not even even close. Seems like a Dr. Seuss kind of deal. Oh, I'm going to be disappointed when I don't get it. I don't know cartoons like this, man. Three, two, one. The Lorax. Mr. Incredible. This is the Lorax. <laughs> Dang it. Does Mr. Incredible have a mustache? Yeah. I think he does in Incredibles too. I think he has a mustache. Nice. Because 
they get a divorce or something? I, I don't think they do. I've seen Incredibles too. I need to watch rewatch that. The Lorax. The it Lorax. was Doctor Seuss. It was Doctor Seuss. I see. I just see the posters everywhere. I've never watched the Lorax, but one of my favorite books. It was one of your favorite books, and you didn't get that? <laughs> well, this wasn't the design in the book. This is like Pixar Town did this. No, this is the book. This is from the book. Look at it. Wow. You know what's really messed up? Huh? They've made porn out there of the Lorax. <laughs> it's <laughs> online. Yeah. You know rule thirty four. Yeah. Yeah. The Lorax gets shagged by landlord or something. Yeah. That totally. exists. Yeah, absolutely. And he's getting his back blown out. You know or what I mean? blowing a back out of somebody else. Yeah. One of the Whoville characters. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I'm the just, Grinch is... The Grinch is involved, yeah. Ah, oh, man. It's out there somewhere. If only I had a VR headset. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Nice. It's beautiful. I never noticed the gap in between. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's just a little bit of a gap in between the top lip and the mustache there. You know this one? Yes. Oh, man. You're going to really <laughs> pull ahead here. The fact that you don't know it is bad. See, I'm looking at it, and I see the mustache now as, like, the hair on the top of someone's head. Because of that gap between the upper lip, right. you could fit eyes in there. I see what you're doing there. You'd have, like, a little Vietnamese man or something. <laughs> It's not the time. This ah. is just not the time. Oh, no. Is this a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is really nothing. This is just this is amazing. It's amazing stuff. I'm so glad you don't know. It's not a bad guy? <laughs> just write, just jot down a little guess and we'll get it over with, you know? Oh, I hate you guys. Three, two, one. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, Luther Vandross. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guess the wrong Luther? <laughs> Is Luther Vandross from Martin Luther King Jr.? Is he a bad guy? Depends if you think cheating on your wife is wrong. <laughs> Did a lot of good though. Did a lot of good. <sighs> I am not proud of the man I am. <laughs> Little Vietnamese man. <laughs> There Handsome. Is. Great voice, too. Dr. Martin, Dr. Luther, Martin King Luther King, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. An American hero. <laughs> Wow. Yikes. Now that is a commanding mustache right there. Uh, it's overtaken everything. At that point, you don't even have a mouth. That's like so cartoonish in real life. <laughs> you got like a moving, there's a moving unit that's talking. It's like, burr, 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 burr. that's so cool. I want to get there. Yeah, you will, buddy. This one's kind of tough though. I feel like it's between a few people for me. The one thing I think about with people who have mustaches like this though. Yeah. When I don't trim my mustache, it really gets in the way of like eating. I can't imagine trying to eat something with just down to here. I think you usually like throat it. You kind of bypass them. Yeah. Well, like yeah. you have to like, yeah, you do like kind of. You kind of shove your hands in your mouth. Right, you, but that's so, I would not like to do that every time. I have friends that have like full beards and they just get it slobbery every time. And I'm like, this is messed up, man. Yeah, there's just like stuff in the beard afterwards. I'm and like, I'll point it out during the meal and they'll go, I know. I'll, I'll get there. Three, two, one. Nick Offerman. Tim Allen. It is Nick Offerman. Ron Swanson. So we've had two Parks and Rec characters in here. We had Mario, and now we have Nick, <laughs> Nick Offerman. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Nick Offerman, also in Last of Us. And here we go. Look at him. Holy dashing. You kind of forget that he's a thespian. Like, this dude was in theater. Big time theater. Like, on the stage, too. Yeah, it was like Megan Mullally and him were doing stuff together. Yeah. And they do stuff together in real life, too, because they're married. Up top. Yep. She knows exactly how that mustache feels. And not just on her mouth. That's what I'm talking about. That's a hot couple right there. She I don't know. Even, yeah, he's so masculine, you know what I mean? You can't help but just picture yourself being dominated by him. He's so masculine, but so sweet. That's the thing about him. He's like, he's a good-natured, like, good-hearted man mm -hmm. who still holds on to those traditional values, but there's room at his hand-carved table for everyone. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? That's the kind of masculinity I can aspire to. Oh, okay. Again, with the weird shapes on the close-up cartoon mustaches. <laughs> This has got to be from the movie because that's the only time they add the shading. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cartoon <laughs> movies are so interesting. Like the Simpsons movie has yeah. so much dimension. The SpongeBob movie. Yeah, they like adjust it for the big screen. They're like make it almost 4D. Yeah, <laughs> make it pop out of the screen on them. Spend way more time animating those. Yeah, Bart Simpson's shadow is like a mile long in the street. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bob. Bob from Bob. Bob Burger. This is Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers. Yep. I wrote just Bob at first too, and then I thought it needed further clarification. Well, you yeah. know, and there he is. It is so messed up that there is porn out there where he okay, is doing yeah, it. We're not, yeah, yeah, that's going down this <laughs> this road again. I know. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere of everything. Oh god, a little blurry. Oh, I think I know who this is. This is a masculine mustache too. I like this. Who plays him? 
I'm thinking of his character. Ugh, I can't think of it. Ah! Can I write down the character? I'll give you that. I had two people in mind for this one, and I'll tell you the other one afterwards. So we can, like, you can look at it with that set of eyes. Okay. So I think it's funny. I don't think it's that person, but when I say it, you might be like, wow. This is really funny that I can't think of this guy's name. One of the <laughs> biggest actors ever. Three, two, one. What David Harbour? I put Iron Man guy. <laughs> this is... Will Ferrell. Oh! Oh, this is Will Ferrell? I was way off. Me too. Who plays Iron Man? Robert Downey Robert Jr. Downey. Robert Downey Jr. Wow. To me, you know who I thought it was? Mark Maron. I can't see that. For a quick second, I was like, that's Mark Maron's face for sure. But From he has, the 80s, maybe. Is yeah, he, he, he has like gray hair now. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, old picture. Of, <laughs> there's no way they pulled up an old pic of Mark Maron. I used to have a big crush on Mark Maron. Me too. I used to listen to the WTF podcast every single day. I'd listen to like four of them. Like I will say he's a good interviewer. He's great. Yeah, one of the best. He's just too bitter. Yeah, too bitter. But that's like, you need a bitter inter... It's like everybody plays their role. Mm -hmm. That's Mark Maron's shtick, is that he's the bitter comedian who never really made it. You know, but he had Obama on his podcast. He made it. It's just a different, different path. Let's see what Will Ferrell's mustache era looked like. God. Yeah, Anchorman. Talk about a good movie. You'll never get that again. Is that Anchorman 2? This looks like one. Grant said 10. Anchorman 10? Anchorman 10. I didn't know they even made 10 of them. That's yeah, crazy. it's one of the more successful franchises. They brought in like Thor and Superman and the Hulk and all Infinity of that. Infinity yeah. War, yeah. yeah. Anchorman Infinity War. He looks crazy in his old age. I try not to think of him anymore. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. I he is awesome. Him. He's one like of one the, of the funniest people ever. He's never off. Funny at all times. Everything he says, you're like, you know, Mark Marin actually described Will Ferrell as having, he says he has the comedic thing where when you're listening to him talk, you're waiting for yeah. it to happen. Yep. And that's like a magical thing. You're waiting for, you know. Something funny he's, is coming. He's gonna, he's <laughs> gonna do something funny. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It always does. Yep. He'll never blue ball you. I'll tell you that much. What the fuck? <laughs> Next one. Ah. Look like BLP Kosher's hair. <laughs> I like playing the rock. Johnson and Johnson shots. Man, I don't know old old stuff like this. You're lying. I mean, is it who I think it is? I mean, of course. It is? Yeah. <laughs> who else could it be? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just didn't think of it looking like this. Well, this was a good day for it. I love it, man. This guy was different. Three, two, one. Salvador Dali. That's what I put. It is Salvador Dali. God, Salvador is an awesome name. It's a cool one, yeah. I can't imagine what it would take to try to like get to that place with it. Like I think about my own mustache and how it grows and it's like, there's no possible way. Wow. All right, guess the year Salvador Dali died over under 53, 1953. After. After 53? Yeah. Grant, can we get a check on that? 1989. Yeah. Whoa! I, I, I was literally going to guess the 90s. He was alive for a long time, man. That's awesome. Yeah. So he could have been at Woodstock. You don't think about that. Dude, he could have seen the Red Hot Chili Peppers play. Yeah, that's, that's weird. That's crazy. He could have sat courtside at a Bulls game when MJ was playing. That he could have worn Jordan 1s. Yeah, he could have worn Jordan 1s. If there's a picture of Salvador Dali and Jordan 1s, I would fold myself in half. Oh, there we go. Oh. This has got to be him. I've been waiting for this one to come up. Who is this freakazoid? I know who he is, but like the one guy. Oh, yeah. So you're on the right track. That's how everyone thinks about him. This is the kind of mustache you have to blow out of the corner of your mouth. <sighs> Seems a little long for a name. And we're good. Three, two, one. I put the guy who plays the other Ron in that one episode of Parks and Recreation. I put Sam Elliott. This is Sam Elliott. Who's that? Sam Elliott, I think it did play. Is that him? I think it is him. Let me see. Nah, I don't know. I don't S think so. Sam Elliott's in like Yellowstone right now. He's been in like every Western. Yeah, I think it is him then. I think it's it is. Played by Sam Elliott. Yep. Ron Dunn is played by Sam Elliott. Boom. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's what I know him from, but I knew I was going to say I think he's in Yellowstone. Yeah. I was going to write that as well. So yeah, wow, that's cool. I love Sam Elliott. Life's long and short all at the same time, you know? People live many lives. Next. Ah, ah gross. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's a gross one. Big, juicy lip. Kissable. <laughs> Very kissable. I don't know about that. Some would say like boyfriend lips. Right. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, that's that's a boyfriend's lips. I, this person needs to clean their their whole mess up. This is a big mess. I like it. It's a little long. What? I think you're right. The, whatever you're writing seems a little bit long. <laughs> Just a specific person it reminded me of. Three, two, one. Put me. Oh, I put the guy that works at the marathon on Jefferson and Alter. <laughs> it's Riley. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I get that all the time. Though, Man, seriously. it looks yeah. just like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy that says, what's up, boss? Yep, what's up, boss? <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Old picture of me. Wow, very beautiful. 
This is like you as an angel. Right. Okay. I mean, you look angelic. I look I'm like this is like unrecognizable. This is when my mustache was way too big for its britches. Yeah, I know <laughs> what you mean. You've grown into it. I started just kind of like, I mean, right now is a bad example because yeah. I kind of got it grown out a little bit in general. But, you know, right here, I usually cut it off around there. That makes instead sense. Instead of like out here. You yeah. Know? <laughs> hey, it was a different time, though. It was a different time. It was pre pandemo Pre pandemo you were like wearing ripped jeans still. You probably had a pack of cigarettes in your pocket. I don't think that's true. Yeah. You probably had a uh, paradise. Wait, what about paradise? Pave paradise. Put, put up, up a parking lot. Ooh, la, la, la. Oh, Next. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that wow. is disgusting. That's gross. Why does this mustache look gray in this picture? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it looks, like, aged. It looks glued on. Like, you found stuff on the floor, <laughs> uh-huh. and you just kind of glued it onto someone's upper lip. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a mustache, honestly. No, I wouldn't it's, It feels generous to call it a mustache. It feels pubic. Three, two, one. Tony from High Mind. Anthony DeRosa. This is great in. <laughs> No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's my mustache era. That's my mustache. <laughs> Why does it look so much like Tony? Let's go. That's my mustache. Doesn't it look like Tony? It does. This That's looks like all Tony's I can mouth. That's all I can it see. It doesn't look like your mouth. <laughs> that is crazy. That's awesome. I could even be included in this game. Look at that. <laughs> that a mustache. That looks like a different man. Oh, we're doing this too? All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this part of the video is for the core fans. <laughs> you know, this is part is just for you guys. It's cool. We've all had mustaches. Big though. Hive Mind fans love this. This, this part of the video. Yeah, we've all had mustaches, me included. Well, I, it's, again, so I wouldn't surprised. call that a mustache. I was in the game. I know you're in the game, but I wouldn't call it a mustache. <laughs> I did say it looked like stuff off the floor. I was trying to like rag on Tony. Yeah, I was. I thought Tony looked like an old man in the picture. <laughs> Little did I know. It was just you. <laughs> Three, two, one. DJ Grant. Grant. Me. Yeah, <laughs> it is Grant. Oh, wow. And again, uh, you know, this is the first one we're getting a beard included with the mustache. Feels like That's it's true. kind of against the rules <laughs> yeah. in a certain way. Not really just just a mustache. Yeah, never really committed to it. I don't think it should count, but hey, here we are. Ah. And here we go. There we go. All right. He would find the best picture of his mustache for the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the best it's ever looked. That's the best it's ever looked. And <laughs> let's wrap it up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Tony from Hive Mind. Tony. Tony, Tony, yeah, Tony. It is Tony. <laughs> That is not really representative. Wow. It looks like a mustache in this picture. It does. And when I talk to him, I don't see that. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah. I've known him for so long that, like, I think of it as little and sad, but he's really grown up to be a full-fledged adult man. Yeah, he's a man. And that's awesome. It's great to see your friends grow up. 16 to 12, final score. 16 to 12, that's the code to my heart. 16 to 12, and that's, that's a code, code to my heart. heart. It goes, what, what six, six, one, two. Oh, yeah, well... That was... Uh, that was guessing celebrities from zoomed in pictures of their mustaches. If you want us to play this again, or we did the bald one, uh-huh. there's like other things you want us to do, you know? <laughs> Let us know. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all this stuff I did not say at the beginning. Grade, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? If you have a garden in a library, what else do you need? <laughs> all right, this has been High Mind Unlimited. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. I don't know why Waluigi's not in Smash. <laughs> Seems like they're toying with us at this point. Toad, get over here, I need another dose. <laughs> I used to look out for them boys and now they're mad I'm about to pop.